Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys, it's me, and welcome to another video! Yeah! Sorry, I was so disgusting, I didn't do anything with myself today. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this video is gonna be on how to get your own horse. So, let's get started. Okay, so number one is raise your own money. Um, you can raise your own money by selling old things, um, which can not set that I got for $600. I might sell that for a horse. And the horse is only three twenty-five. It's a miniature. I might get it, but can you shut our door, please? Come in. It's such just Ellie. Can you shut that door? Um, don't mind Ellie. I'm just gonna do another video by myself. Um, like I said, you can raise a money. Your parents wouldn't want want to buy a horse. Um. And they'll probably say, oh, you need to raise your own money before you get a horse. I'm so sorry, guys. Excuse me. I pick up the mine. Me having here go. Okay, but I guess then you could raise stuff. You could sell old things like, um, like really old things. Like we have a few things that are really old, like a 1980. I don't know. I don't know where it's from. I don't know when it's. But we have an old, like a really, really, really old sewing machine. And we could sell that. I got eyebrows, like, we could sell that. Hey, <laughs> hiccups. <laughs> but, um. <clears throat> you can also have a garage sale. It's a really good idea, and yeah, I think it's stupid that you have to have a license or garage still, but, um, yeah, um, fourth thing, I mean, second thing is, um, you have to get, um, your own equipment, which is basically, like, money, you could raise money, uh, you could do chores around the house. Because if your parents pay you to do chores, I remember that um, Ash got paid $20 because she got the most hard work, which was the laundry and the dishes. Then he got paid $17, I think it was, $70, 17 $17 um, for what? Sweeping all the floors and mopping, and I got paid ten dollars for um, excuse me, for um, wiping down tables in the fridge and washing off the counters. But um, yeah, um, it. Third thing is, um, place to keep it at. Okay, I think it's so stupid that you're not allowed to have the horse in, um, the city. I mean, I, they could probably get hurt or something, but, like, I live in the city, and I live right by East Market Street, and if the horse got out, it would get run over. But we're moving to Tennessee, hopefully in April, but yeah, and we're moving somewhere in the country out in Tennessee. Um, or we might live in a hotel, and I don't think you can have a horse. But um, I, I'm thinking about selling my gymnastics. Don't mind how she just wants to be in the video. Um, I'm thinking about selling my gymnastics set. Yeah, um, I'm thinking about selling my gymnastics set. The beam, the mat, and the, um, gymnastics bar were all $600 together. That was a whole set. And the horse is only, um, 325 And all the equipment would be tops about $700. Um, 
so I would have to raise an extra hundred plus tax. So I would rather have more money than less money. So like, I don't know, but um, my gymnastics set was six hundred dollars. I could sell more stuff downstairs. There's a lot of stuff downstairs. But um, and fourth question. I mean fourth thing is that you need to live up to the expectations and they need to trust you on the horse. So basically a horse is a really big responsibility. If you're like my age and I don't think your parents would trust you because you you really don't like that's a really hard responsibility to do. Like so to earn your parents' trust, I should call this, um, you could do chores around the house. You could help out. Like if your tour was to do two things, do ex extra. Um, if you have already a pet, take care of them. Um, get good, excuse me, get good grades in school and just help out a lot with your mom if she's struggling struggling or she's sad or she's frustrated just listen to your mom or your parents or whoever's home with you or your grandma or your grandparents just listen to the boss um and you guys know i don't listen to my mom but i'm gonna actually start doing that because i'm gonna gain my mom's trust on um this pet so um yeah and that was my video on um, how to get your parents to get you a horse. I hope you liked it. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. <laughs> See you next time. Bye, guys.